How should you write the conclusion in a persuasive essay? Well, you should write it just like you write every other conclusion, except one small thing. Let's talk about what those are. Like every conclusion, you should restate the thesis statement with new words. And here the writer restates the thesis statement again, increasing the birth rate is a key defense against the shrinking of Japanese society. Notice that the writer uses different words, doesn't repeat the same words as the thesis. The next sentence summarizes the main idea about raising children from the first body paragraph. The next sentence summarizes the main ideas from the second and third body paragraphs. And the third sentence summarizes the ideas from the last body paragraphs. The last two sentences, like every conclusion, um, makes a prediction, suggestion, or states the author's opinion. In this case, it's a suggestion. So all three parts of a conclusion are here, just like in the conclusion for any essay. What's the small difference between this and conclusions for other essays? The language. In a persuasive essay, you use modal verbs in order to express your opinion more strongly. And in the last part where the writer makes a suggestion, the writer uses had better to state that suggestion in a very strong way. So again, the difference between the conclusion here and other essays is not that great. The difference is really in the language. And in persuasive essays, you use modal verbs to express your opinion strongly and clearly. This concludes the lecture on conclusions for persuasive essays.